Euphoria glamorizes all the fuck ups in high school, right? It's just glamorizing all the bad kids. I think there should be a show like Euphoria that glamorizes the good kids. <laughs> right? It's like there's lens, it's shot really well. Like, fuck, I'm worried about this AP calculus test. <laughs> and it says produced by an Indian dad. <laughs> like, see, these kids are good. You should be like them. We sold it to Tubi. <laughs> yeah. Just all the kids are doing really well. There's no drama. I'm like, hey, Ranji, I heard you're really good at spelling. <laughs> You're a distraction in my studies. Bye. <laughs> my dad told me about you. <laughs> but I want to fuck your dick. Sorry. I like spelling. <laughs> spelling has my heart. <laughs> yeah. He's like, bye. B-Y-E. <laughs> I just used it in a sentence, Denise. Uh, Very smart. <laughs> thank you. Okay, this is my Craigslist guy's going again too much. Second half of the show. I'm not paying you extra. I only paid you for the first, the first 20 minutes. Uh, I have a friend who's kind of racist. He's kind of racist. Oh, I don't know if he's racist, but his favorite movie is the first half of American History X. <laughs> for some cinephiles. Has anyone seen American History X? It's a great, it's a great movie. There's, so I think racists love American History X. Like, that's, that's their Star Wars. <laughs> racists fucking love American History And there's this scene in there that's pretty much science fiction. So it's at the Venice basketball courts, and there's a team of neo-Nazis playing a team of black guys. And they go, if we win, the white guys, blacks can never play on this court. And then, the, and then the blacks were like, if we win, you whiteys can't play on the court. And they go, deal. And they play basketball. And there's a scene in there where Edward Norton, who's a neo-Nazi, and he's like 5'10", they throw him an alley-oop. And he jumps up into the air, and he reverse dunks it. That's every racist wet dream. To, to be 5'10", white, and dunk, and kick blacks off of a court. They see that, they go, oh, oh, fuck. That would never happen. That's why it's such fantasy. But I also, also, so the neo-Nazis win and they're like, get off the court, yeah! And all the whites are celebrating. But I, I imagine if, if, like if you are of that race and you weren't privy to that game, you just show up to the Venice boardwalk to play basketball like a week later and they go, no, your race can't play here anymore. You go, what? They go, yeah, they, they had it out. The race has had it out. A week ago, blacks can't play here anymore. But I wasn't notified about this. They, those are the rules, man, sorry. There was no social media, you couldn't reach out to everybody. There was no Twitter to say, hey, we're playing for all the marbles. Blacks versus whites, Venice, get down there. It's like Morpheus is fighting Neil. Check it out.